comic before we bring back our iron comics. Please give it up for Matt the Brat McCusker. <laughs> You go for Nerds on Fairmount. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a good time. Thanks for coming out, man. This is awesome. You guys are here. We, uh, is that the first time you guys ever sell a cell phone? That's what's up. It's so bright. All right. Uh, Fuck them. They don't even know it. The sea captain to chill. <laughs> <laughs> There's Waldo. Oh, shit, ain't going me. Thanks for coming out, man. You guys are awesome. I, uh, you guys really enjoy this. I saw Fifty Shades of Grey this weekend with my wife. Very erotic. Very sexy. It was pretty cool. And if you guys don't know what the movie's about, it's about this guy uh, who's really rich and he's way too freaky for this girl. But she's okay with it because he's a billionaire. That's the whole movie. That's, that's it. He's like, I'm gonna tie you up and slap you. And she's like, no. And he's like, but I'm a billionaire. And she's like, okay, I love you. And that's. that's, 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 that's it. It, it, you need a billionaire for that to work. If it was just some like plumber, like took a girl to his row home, like yeah, this is where I went, bitches. She'd be like, yeah, yo. Is that Home Depot pink? You can't whip me. I'm out. <laughs> But if you install skylights, had his view of the city and like a baby grand piano, all of a sudden the chick's like, so do you like whip girls hard before you fuck them? I mean, I'll be down at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, man. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's good stuff, man. And it's like, I can imagine, if that was like a poor guy in that movie, it would be so sad. Because the girl would have left and it would have been like two hours of a guy like jerking off in a shitty dungeon, like, <laughs> I need to install more boilers, this sucks. No one would bondage with me. Oh man. I don't know. It was funny too when I saw it with my wife because uh, I had to leave halfway through and take a dump. And when I came back, everyone thought I was jerking off. I could feel them looking at me. I was staring at me. Which is cool, that's one cool thing about being married. Like halfway through a date, you'd be like, I got a shit, just go take a shit. And my, your, your wife's like, well, hurry up, I gotta take a shit too, so. I know, I, I want my marriage to work out. I'm, I'm 30, my wife's about 30, and, you know, I hope it works out, but if it doesn't work out, I want it to not work out, like, now. That way I know, you know, like, I just, I don't want to date, like, in my 40s and 50s. I'm like, what do you do? It's hard. Well, it's hard when you have a mullet, sir. It definitely <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, good, good. Um, oh, it's hard because it's like, what do you feel like? Oh, see, maybe you go somewhere and just be tired together sometime. That'd be nice. Just, look at that. Well, I blew my load. Thanks a lot, you guys are awesome. <laughs>